Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I'm with Anders Manter, who's product manager for Genie Telehandlers, a relatively new product in the marketplace. How long has Genie been building telehandlers now? Eight years? Ten years? Uh, yeah, ten years. Ten years, yeah, okay. Um, the GTH uh, 844 is um, an interesting machine because it's an, essentially built as a 99 horsepower machine, but you're offering it in a 74 horsepower uh, version. Why is that? A couple of reasons. One is we found that um, with the newer high torque 3.6 liter engine we work with Deutsch to develop, mm -hmm. uh, we can get torque low down in the RPM range. And we paired that with a new set of axles from Dana that are geared down. What we can do with that combination is we can provide all the grunt you need uh, to do the work mm -hmm. while sacrificing just a little bit of top speed. Oh, okay. How does the uh, torque of that engine compare to its 99 horsepower variant? Engine torque is, so you have 310 uh, foot-pounds of torque from the 99 and 287 oh. foot-pounds of torque from the 74 horse. 287. So that's really close. It is close. Yeah. And keep in mind, we geared down the rear axle axles as well mm -hmm. to give you the torque that you need. How do you get the hydraulic performance out of the machine that you need for those big lifts and, and long extensions? Uh, we keep you know, we kept the same pump as we had before, so mm -hmm. it's shared components around 99, and it's really sufficient to do everything you need for okay. this machine. Okay, and it I, I, seems like when I looked at the, at the specs, there was a pretty significant increase in pump flow in what, 2013 with That's the model or something correct. like that? In 2013, we redesigned this machine, mm -hmm. and we upgraded many systems at that point. We should point out that one of the real advantages of this 74 horsepower variant of this is that there's no selective catalytic reduction, no diesel exhaust fluid, no diesel particulate filter on That's this machine. That's absolutely right. Uh, you maintain performance, but you, you, um, you lose the so you have no death fluid to add, you have no region park and burn functionality, mm -hmm. and best of all, for an end customer, is you lower the acquisition price. How much? Can you say? Is it a? I mean, it, uh, is there? Is it? Is it? Is it the the same as a, a, a pre tier four final Correct. machine? Correct. We moved back down to tier four I pricing basically. Okay. okay. So we're taking about with uh, from tier three to tier four I. Mm -hmm. We did have a price increase across the range because we added DOCs to all the engines. Mm -hmm. This went to tier four final. We have an SCR at this particular machine. Mm -hmm. Now you can take that SCR off, mm -hmm. and the cost now goes back to the tier four I pricing. Okay. And how much? What kind of percentage increase did you see with uh, adding SCR to those? Our price final? increase for a triple final was about six percent. Okay, okay. So it's pretty substantial. Sure, sure. That's a, that's a real number. And uh, maintenance costs go down when you don't have absolutely DTF. maintenance costs as well as uh, cost of ownership. Mm -hmm. You don't have to add death fluid in your operating machine. Okay. Um, death fluid itself isn't that expensive, but you don't have a, a separate system to maintain. Right. There's no death fluid to bring to site. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a simpler, easier machine to own. With the new axles, we went from into new axle manufacturer where this machine has Dana axles all around mm -hmm. and that we did that so we can get the gearing down but you also see convenience features have added we've increased the coolant reservoir in the engine to help it perform better in hill climbs mm -hmm. uh, things of that nature mm -hmm. we also added a uh, rigging tray up front last year we launched uh, our lifting shackle across the entire range mm -hmm. and that allows you to rig a, a rig or slig and load with the machine and it's approved load chart on the machine okay um, what's unique about ours is attached to the um, the quick attach so you can take off the carriage and still have essentially a miniature boom on the front oh, of the machine okay. All right. um, the rigging tray that we added up front on this machine new for this year is allows you to keep your machine cleaner by storing all your rigging equipment up front. So thinking about the competition in this mm -hmm. 8,000 pound, 44 foot max height uh, uh, telehandlers, what would you say are the ones, the features that really distinguish this machine from what's out there? Well, a couple of things. Oh, first is, uh, you see a lot of manufacturers going to 74 horse engines. Right. You want to make sure you have a machine that's geared appropriately so you get the torque that you need. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you also want to make sure you have sufficient torque. Mm -hmm. We found, for example, that we try to use a smaller engine this, a smaller displacement engine, a 2.9 liter, and didn't give us enough torque that it felt our customers would be satisfied with. So okay. it felt like we needed a bigger displacement to get the torque. Um, that's something we learned through our development process.